Everybody on your drive today, you likely notice gas prices were anywhere from 212 to 245. If a proposed gas tax is implemented, you'll likely be paying a whole lot more. The fifth most in the country, as a matter of fact. Yeah, that 215 would turn into 233 and the 245 would become 263. No one wants to pay more for gas, but the payoff could be getting things in desperate need of a fix fixed. Walter Smith Randolph joins us now from one of those things, which is the Western Hills Viaduct. Hi, Walter. Yeah, that's right, Robbie came. I keep asking county and city leaders what will get fixed if this gas tax goes into effect, this hike goes into effect, and this is what they point to, the Western Hills Viaduct. They say this is a prime example of why the gas tax needs to go up. Six million dollars. That's how much more money Cincinnati could receive every year if Ohio's gas tax is increased. We face a deficit for the next budget year of over 19 million dollars. Uh, Six million dollars from the state will free up some other resources. David Mann chairs Cincinnati City Council's Finance and Budget Committee. He says the money is sorely needed. We've got a lot of work to do. In addition, uh, you've got Western Hills Viaduct, which is a tremendous investment that's going to be required by the city, by the county, uh, by the state. Gas tax money can only be spent on streets, roads, and bridges. Mann says an increase from the state could save jobs. These funds allow us to take resources that we otherwise were going to have to spend on streets and roads and bridges and apply them to make sure we don't lay off police officers and firefighters and some of those things that would be very unpleasant. At the county level, the Hamilton County Engineer's Office would see a $1.7 million yearly increase. So it is restricted. And that's a good thing. I mean, so these dollars are going to be used for roads and bridges. When the governor talks about increasing the gas tax, it's going to be used for roads and bridges. Hubbard says his office would use the extra money for road resurfacing, a request he receives a lot. If we decide that, uh, you know, we're not going to increase fees, then we're going to have to, over time, we will probably have to live, with cer live without certain uh, lengths of infrastructure. Now, critics of the governor's proposal say if you're going to raise prices at the pump, there needs to be some type of tax cut to go along with it. And today, Ohio's Senate leader says that may come in the form of an income tax cut. We're live at the Western Hills Viaduct tonight. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. All right, Walter, thank you. The proposed hike would bring in over a billion dollars a year. Lawmakers have until the end of next month to approve a transportation budget.